Hello, I'm Jenny Parker and in this video I'll introduce you to the basics of Google Drive. To access Google Drive you will have to have a Google account. If you already have a Google account then you can just sign into it or if you're already using a Google product then you will have an account. Google products such as YouTube or maybe a blogger blog if you've already created one. Right, so if you have any of those products you can simply click on the sign in button. If you haven't then you would need to create an account and I'm just going to do a quick search for create a Google account. You'll come to the screen where you can simply fill in your information to create the account and when you've finished just click on next step and work through the process until you've created your account. One thing I'd like to point out though, when you choose your username, it doesn't have to be a Gmail account. You can, if you prefer, use an existing current email address. Just click on that link and you'll be able to type in your current email address and complete the accounts process. I already have a Google account, so I'm just going to sign in. As you can see, I have two Google accounts, so I'm going to select my student account and it will take me to my personal information in my student account. Now that I've created my account I can access Google Drive and be able to edit documents etc. So if I click up again on the apps icon you can see there's an icon for Drive and it will take me into my Google Drive. If this is the first time you've used it. Obviously you won't have any files. You can see here though that I have numerous files and I've actually got quite a few folders set up. So I'm just going to click over here next to my drive on the arrow and it will open out that folder system and I'm going to click on the eDesign January folder as an example and in here we can see all of the files that I have access to. If you haven't created any folders yet, you will find that documents that are shared with you will appear in your My Drive section. If you don't see any documents here, it's because you haven't accessed or shared or had some shared with you yet. Just going back to that January one, for you to be able to see the files in here, you would either need to click on a link that would take you there or you would need to be invited to share something. I'm just going to flick into the Authentic eDesign course so that I can show you where a link is that you could click on to access these files that we're looking at now. In the Authentic eDesign course you can access the Google folder for this course in a couple of places. One in the Getting Started area. If you click on the heading it will take you through to see all of the resources. And in this section you'll see install and join the eDesign groups. And the first one there is the information about Google Drive. There's a link for you to create the account. And then a link under that that says click on this link to view the contents of the folder. And clicking on that will take you straight through to the folder that I have created that contains documents that we're going to be using throughout this particular course. And then just by clicking on one of the documents it will load it uh, so you can view it. You can then work through the documents and look at the different ones using the forward and back arrows to see what's there. If you want to open a particular document down here at the bottom you click on the open button and once it's loaded you'll be able to see the file. Now this particular one is one that you would just be reading but if you wanted to save a copy of this onto your computer you could go over to file and download a copy or print. PDF. I'm going to close that document and we'll go back to our reviewing window. To add information into a shared Google Drive document you would need to first open the file. So I'm going to use this one as an example. This particular document, because it's the first document and I don't have your Gmail email addresses and to save time and for convenience is not a public document but let's go up and I'll show you in the share how this particular document is shared and you can see here it says anyone who has the link can edit it. 
it could be public on the web uh, it could be anyone with the link can access it just to view it and you can set the access down here as edit view or comment or you can share it privately so it's only explicitly given permission to people that you put an email address in for so I'm going to cancel that and if I wanted to share this document I could simply copy this URL at the top that's highlighted in blue and send that to people in an email or I could share it via different social technologies as shown here at the top. So this document you can all edit, you just simply click in and type your details. Once you've finished editing you can simply close the document and you can continue looking through them. I will open this one up. This particular document is set to view only as it's a master template so you don't actually need access to edit this document. What you need to do is simply make a copy of it and then it becomes your own document. So once it's open if you click file make a copy and the instructions are here on the top of the document then you can enter a new name you could just simply replace the word template with your name and click on OK. And now you can see that I have a copy of that document. When I named it, it automatically put copy of in front of it. So I'm just going to change the name again. And to do that, to rename it, as you can see, as I move over the title, it tells me I can rename. And I'm going to come back here and take out that first piece of information. So now it's my document and I can edit and share it and do whatever I like with it. You would now use it to fill in your responses to on the worksheet and you would make sure when you have finished that you share it so that your peer can give you feedback up on the share button. And here where it says private only you can have access, change it to anyone with the link. It's not public out on the web, it can't be found in a search, but someone that has the link would be able to see it. And then you'll find the link to share at the top. It's already highlighted, so I'm just going to copy that and click Done. And then I can close my document. And you can see the original one is there too. I'm going to close that one. And we'll be back into our Google Drive folder. Find in the Task 1 Analysis Worksheet is where you can put your URL so your peers can access it. So I'm going to open that document. At the moment this particular document is view only. Once you've filled in the blog roll information and I have your Gmail account emails, I will add you into the share. When you receive editing access for this document, all you would need to do then is click into the cell to type in your name, into the task one analysis URL cell and paste in your URL for the document you just created. So let's close that one and you can see we're back at our previewing documents. So when we finish working and previewing with the document, the little X at the top here, close, click on that and it will take you back to the view of all of the folders. Now this is a view that you, that you see when you click on the link from the course but you can click up here at the top and go into Google Drive and open it in Google Drive. And then you will see the view that we were looking at earlier. Here you can create new folders, you can create new documents yourself. You can also upload files and folders from your computer to Google Drive. And that means that you can access that document from any computer that you log into your Google account. Once you've created your Google account, you can have access to lots of different applications on Google. So the Google Plus, YouTube, the Drive, Calendar. And if you're looking at using Blogger for your blog, you can simply click on that link and use your same Google account login and start blogging. So that should get you started using Google Drive.